Welcome to New Possibilities. I speak truth to power without fear. There's been some tragedies going on. There was killings of police in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And before that, there was killings of police in Dallas. And everybody wants to condemn the two shooters. They want to condemn Micah Johnson and they want to condemn Gavin Long. But before you condemn those brothers, you have to condemn the system that created those brothers. You have to condemn that system. You have to condemn a system that allows police to murder black people with impunity. You have to condemn that system. This is not a question of a few bad apples. That's what they want to tell you, that it's a few bad apples and that the majority of police are good, that the majority of police are doing the right thing. That's what they want to tell you when that is not the truth. The system is designed in a way that discriminates against black people. The system is designed in a way that it promotes harassment of black people, profiling of black people, brutalization of black people, and the killing of black people. There's something wrong with the system. You have black people being killed live on camera by these police, and not only that, even worse than that, there is no justice in many of these cases for the victims of police brutality. There is no justice for them. They're killed live on camera for the whole damn world to see and nothing happens to the damn killer. In fact, the killers are celebrated. In fact, the killers are viewed as the victims in this system. They're viewed as the damn victims even though they're the damn killers. They have fundraisers for these damn killers, raising hundreds of thousands of dollars for these killers. And even though George Zimmerman wasn't a police officer, they treated him as such. They treated him just like they treat white police officers. They raised money for this killer. And if that wasn't enough, that killer profited off of the death of a young black boy, Trayvon Martin. We see time and time again, despite the appearance of progress, we see black men being lynched by these stinking no good cops and there's no justice for them. See what you're witnessing right now is the hate that hate produced. Those brothers, Micah Johnson and Gavin Long, they are a product of this society. They see the injustice. They see a failed criminal justice system. They see police who are supposed to protect and serve killing and harassing black people. They're, they're the product of hate. They are the hate that hate produced. These police express hatred towards black people when they gun us down in the street with no regard. They have more regard for roadkill than they have for the black man. So eventually that hatred produces hatred. They taught these two young black men how to be killers, but yet they want to call on people to renounce violence when they taught these killers to be killers, when they taught them to be ruthless. They don't have a problem with these people, these brothers killing for the empire. But when these brothers stand up and they take matters into their own hands and they move against the empire, all of a sudden there's some kind of condemnation of violence when the American society is one of the most violent countries on the face of the earth. No other country right now has the legacy of violence that America has. These same people that point their fingers at these two young brothers, 
They don't point their fingers at the government that bombs people around the world. They don't point their finger at the government that wages wars around the world, invading country after country, orchestrating coups, bombing civilians. They don't speak out against that government. But what they do do is point their fingers at the victims when the victims take matters into their own hands. Instead of condemning the system that produced these brothers, they want to just point their fingers at those brothers. When in fact, those brothers are nothing but products of society. They are expressing the hatred that has been projected upon them. And right now, America has reaped hatred. They have reaped violence. And what's happening is simply a matter of reaping what they have sown. They have sown violence, they have sown war, they have sown hatred and disregard for human life. And now they're reaping that. In the words of Malcolm, in the words of Jeremiah Wright, America's chickens have come home to roost. And as long as America ignores the problem of police brutality, I'm not sure if this is gonna be the end of the violence. People wanna condemn violence and understandably so. But do you really think the president would have sat down with all these community people, with all these police people, for four hours if there had not been a killing, if there had not been violence in Dallas and Louisiana. See, the people have had enough. They are tired of being the victims of police brutality. They are tired of black people's blood spilling in the streets without consequences. So yeah, America is reaping what it has sown and the chickens are coming home to roost.